Hello guys, how are you today? Um, uh, I am so freaking excited. I haven't, I haven't been able to make videos in a while because you know I've been traveling and it, it's been. I, I've literally had to get myself situated. <laughs> we can say I've had to get myself situated because I've been traveling back and forth, meeting all types of different people, uh, realizing more and more of what I am and what I'm here to do on this earth, and. Um, it, it has been just absolutely amazing, and uh, you guys definitely, uh, I'm looking forward to making videos telling you about my journey and uh, everything that's happened and uh, how I am, you know, how I ended up at the place that I am at today. Um, seriously, uh, I'm just so grateful for literally everything. All of what I have been through has truly humbled me because there were a lot of things that... Uh, happened to me that I got to experience that have literally humbled me. I, I got to see how people who had less than I did, how they react to certain situations. When someone asked them for something, they would give the shirt off their back. Even though they didn't have much, that is amazing. I met some pretty, uh, some, uh, pretty interesting people and um, all of them were you know, nothing short of a freaking miracle when I came in contact with those people. Um, but yeah, today, sorry about that. I'm getting carried away. I'm just so excited. Today, I am uh, going to talk about how I learned to overcome negative entities as well as overcoming, you know, doubts about myself and my abilities. So let me go ahead and get started. I literally have had the hardest time with my abilities and development and also with assisting others. It has been the most difficult being a channel and growing up as a starseed because no one understood me. I really didn't even understand I was so far gone ever since, even when I was, you know, younger, I was so far gone. I was so far in the other dimensions. Nobody understood me. Everybody would make fun of me or they would, you know, they, they didn't want to be around me. There were those few who, you know, who were, there were those few who were just like me, you know, um, rebellious and, you know, what they would consider outcasts. I hung out with those guys and, you know, I, I had a really good time because we didn't, we didn't fit in, but we fit into our own group. So we made somewhere where we could all go and fit in into one place. So everybody who didn't fit into our group, they could go wherever else they needed to go because the ones who didn't fit in were the ones who were the ones that were making fun of us, the people making fun of people who were like us in that group. And, uh, Throughout my journey uh, with working in the etheric realm and developing my psychic abilities, it has been very, it, it's been very tough. It was, it, it took a lot of patience. I used to have a short fuse, so I literally had to learn to, the way that I learned, I had to learn um, by accepting demonic entities. Not, I want to explain that accepting um, demonic entities, accepting that they are real and that they are, you know, they are just like us. It's just that they are, they, they don't know any better. They chose a lower vibration because they haven't experienced love. Literally, whenever I would react out of anger they would get even more control over me when I would stress and when I would be extremely sad. I noticed that they had a hold over me. They couldn't attack me directly. So they went after my family members and, you know, the ones that I loved the most, which was my girlfriend at the time. This was a few years back when I was first going through awakening. They would do things and they would listen to every single thing that I said and manipulate so many things. I, I didn't even think that this was possible. You know, I was a huge skeptic about literally everything. I was, I was a huge skeptic. I literally um, would 
you know, I would literally just not want to hear anything that 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 anyone else was saying about what I was going through. I didn't have anyone who understood, you know, my situation or anyone who understood exactly what I was going through, except for my girlfriend at the time. But turns out that the reason why I was with her was because my guides orchestrated the entire relationship. They, they, they put together the entire thing because they knew that in order for me to get over being judgmental, I had to give, I had to first, they had to attract me by someone who was just that, that had all the looks, but not so much of respect or brains or control. And they were within her body. They uh, they taught me to tell the difference between when there are demonic entities around and when there are higher vibrating beings. I literally almost went crazy. I, I kid you not. It was it was very um, it was very scary for me. I honestly, you know, when uh, when I went through my awakening and started doing meditations, I turned my, I, I literally blocked my clairvoyance because th that's how overwhelming it was to me. I literally did not want to see all these things. I saw different beings um, and apparitions coming into my home. I would see, you know, different uh, orbs flying around. I would see all these things in people's energy fields. I would see black mass coming out of people's bodies that were of a lower vibration. I could hear voices and I could hear personal information about people that I was not supposed to know. I um, freaked out a lot and I really had to, I, you know, it was just, I guess that was, I guess you can say that was just a, a sample of what my abilities were going to be. And I saw all of them and what they were. The way it's the way it all started is that I had a friend in high school who her and I used to talk about all of these different things. Um, you know, and she was she used to give readings on people and I used to go and ask people to see if it was accurate and you know, it was accurate. We would, you know, kid around and one day we ended up getting to the point of uh uh, looking up this, we ended up finding the same exact uh, meditation article, and we were debating on whether or not we should do it. She decided she wasn't going to do it, so I did it. You know, she gave me that push. I'm really grateful because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have had that push into spirituality. So thank you, Mary. And um, I literally just uh, went and did the meditation and it took three days it was uh awake it was opening your third eye uh and um everything that i read would have that would happen in three days is exactly what happened on the third day i had a walk-in experience and i you know ended up coming in contact with extraterrestrials <laughs> even more and they completely obliterated my fear at that point at, at that point in time when i had to walk in they they took away my fears and it was just absolutely amazing. I, I could, you know, I, I couldn't even explain it. I, uh, I, I, I um, went through and just had the uh, most interesting experiences when uh, I first went through, was going through my awakening process. I literally had to, in order to overcome the entities that were manipulating um, my family members into being angry at me or manipulating my girlfriend or manip manipulating her friends or manipulating someone's mindset to har harming her or harming um, someone that I loved because they couldn't get into my energy field. The way I, the way that I did it is the way that the Lemurians taught me, which is accepting accepting that they are here and that there's no reason to fear them and there's no reason to be resisting there there's no reason to resist them because the way that I learned to accept them 
I literally had to go, I literally had to put my jealousy aside and text a man that was around, that was at, in my, that was in my girlfriend's home who came to, to check on her. That's what, that's what he said. And all my reaction would determine the outcome of what would have happened inside of that home. Because if, if I would have reacted of anger, then all of the entities that were around, they could have got to him and they could have gotten to her and something bad could have happened to her. So I reacted out of love and acceptance. And he told me that he was there and that he heard a lot about me and he's glad that he got to talk to me and he wanted me to take care of her. That's That was pretty amazing. You know? um, it, literally on that same day, I stopped coming in contact with demonic entities. There were no more. There were no more attacks on me. There was no more manipulation. There was no more anger. There, there was no more of that. I wasn't resisting anymore, and they left, and my, my vibration was higher. I got to speak to my guides even more. They brought even more um, opportunities to me. It was just amazing. <laughs> it's, it, I can honestly say it was one of the best things that's ever happened. I honestly, it, when I was learning astral travel, it was not easy for me. When I was learning clairvoyant, when I was learning to use all of my abilities, it was not easy. So I definitely, I definitely, you know, wanted to say this to you guys. It's, it can be done, but it, it does take time. So just because you don't get it the first time, it doesn't mean that you're not good. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're horrible. It doesn't mean that you're never going to get it. It literally takes time. I didn't just learn these things in a day. It, it, it takes time. It, the process, the processes take time, and I, I can remember when I did astral travel. What I did, what when I couldn't visualize, what I did is I affirmed it. I used a lot of affirmation because I blocked my clairvoyance. Like I said before, I used affirmations, and I would see a lot of things in my dream state. I was astral traveling in my dream state. I, I couldn't remember. But then I got a journal and I started writing everything down. And as I started writing everything down, that's when more, more and more things started happening to me. More and more things started coming. And that's exactly how I ended up in the position that I am in right now. By not giving up and continuing, knowing that my uh, guides were right by my side. I literally did everything to... You know, just for my guides to tell me that I'm proud of you. That was the best thing that I could have ever heard because they know me and they understood me. It was just so amazing. I was so happy and excited whenever they would say, I'm proud of you or you're doing a great job. And they even, you know, gave me confirmation of my progress, even though I couldn't see it. I would stress about it. So I know how you guys feel. I can definitely relate. Um, yeah, that's definitely how I came to be, and that's how I overcame my fears and uh, resistant uh, and my resentment to towards negative entities and lower vibrating beings. It is. It's. I'm not saying it's easy, but it can be done. And all these processes, mastering the abilities, channeling, uh, realizing who you are, energy healing. You know, I set my goals and I met them. I would set goals ever since I was a little kid. I would set goals. I told myself I wanted to be a parapsychologist. I was obsessed with everything that had to do with the afterlife. It, if it had to do with Egypt, everything that had to do all, as well with um, spirits. And it, it was just extremely amazing. <laughs> that is... Um, that's how I came to be. Until next time, guys. See you guys later. Um, if you guys want me to make more videos, just uh, definitely comment. And uh, let me know what kind of videos you would like for me to make. And I'll definitely do it. And I'm also, I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to start making channeling videos soon. It's going to be channeling with Anubis. So that should be pretty interesting. And I'm very excited and looking forward to it. See you guys.